Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing really well and happy December. Look at the little Christmas background. I did actually have a like cozy fireplace thing going on back here and then I looked in the camera and it looked like it was just like a burning something behind me. I think the TV's a bit too big so I've just got on some kind of random winter scene and you know if there's adverts that's just gonna ruin the whole vibe so whatever we're just going with it today i'm going to bring you my annual gift guide and this year's i thought i'd do a collective one for a gift guide for people that are really hard to buy for because god do i know a few i feel like it's a bit more helpful rather than being quite generic if you've got that sun in your life and you're really struggling guaranteed i have you a present idea in today's video Okay, I think I've got about 50 ideas and they range from very cheap to, I'd probably say tops 50, I think. Um, there might be a few anomalies in there, but we're just, we're just gonna have to see. I got you. So if you're struggling for a present, watch this video and please like, comment and subscribe. First of all, a woman in your life who loves a bit of jewellery. This is such an easy gift. Um, I've actually gifted my mum two pieces from here and I just thought I'd give them a little shout out. Anna Louisa, I've spoken about these before but there is some little treats inside here and they are definitely for everyone I feel like. They do gold silver jewellery, statement jewellery, really small cute little dainty pieces. I don't necessarily buy like more expensive jewellery for myself so I do feel like it's a bit of a treat to receive it. I've got the matching bracelet to this. You can hopefully see that and it's got like little dots all around it um, and a cute little silver thing at the end so if you know someone who likes mixing their jewellery the silver and gold which is me um, I feel like this little necklace is so nice and very universal I feel like a lot of people are really going to like this um, I feel like they do this in silver as well I might be wrong but I'm not sure they do actually have a sale going off at the minute so if you act quick you should be able to get some money off the jewelry I've tried and tested I think I've been getting their jewelry for about a year straight now so I've so many pieces or hoops here for someone who likes some hoops I mean me love a good hoop and these are very everyday hoops honestly the jewelry is just so comfortable to wear i have really sensitive ears and um, i've actually got the hoops in right now and they're pretty big hoops and can't feel a thing and also one of these necklaces this necklace is anna luisa but anyway this is like more of a little simple piece but i feel like this paired with other things is really really sweet so it's like a little gold bangle it's adjustable so it is definitely going to fit them as well because you just squeeze it onto your wrist and yes they're the pieces that i got this time the jewelry is great 10 out of 10 definitely recommend so if you know someone who loves a little jewelry gift yeah my mum loved the pieces that i got her present idea number one if you know a pet lover i feel like a pet portrait would be such a nice gift um, obviously personalised gifts I feel like they always go down well and you don't have to spend a lot on things for them to be personalised so I found quite a few on Etsy I've popped on the screen the one that I found but there is loads if you just search in on Etsy personalised pet portrait you can get loads of different quirky art pieces on there and I feel like if someone's hard to buy for but they've got a dog great present sticking on the theme of personalised art I feel like I included in this in my gift guide last year Pebble Art, I just think this stuff is super cute and there's loads of little places on Etsy that are a little bit different. Yeah, you get it in like a little frame and little pebble people on it and I think a lot of them you can get like the names on, the family name and whatever. So I do feel like that is a great present for anyone, someone who's just moved out or like grandparents, mum, dad, you know, it can be put somewhere as like a little, you can even put your dog on it and I mean, how freaking cute is that? A personalised photo calendar you can get so many different ones of these and i think a lot of websites do them so if you do a little searching around see which one you like best because there is some really nice different ones um and then you can choose the photos for every month of the year and if you've got a lot of photos of this person or of this person or even just grab them from the facebook or whatever moving on a little bit um coffee pods coffee machine you know this year i feel like you might have seen it in my videos they usually come with a deal as well if you get the nespresso machines you can get like 
33 pods and they do like little selection boxes they always do like limited edition coffees so if you know someone who loves a good coffee i feel like that's a great idea um, or if you know they've already got a coffee machine maybe get them some little different coffees to try there's a lot of coffee lovers out there so i feel like that is a pretty like foolproof gift and i've influenced quite a few people to buy one of these machines so get them a little syrup set i myself love the is it Munin caramel syrup but you can get like a little selection boxes with all the different ones in little stocking filler idea as well another thing is like pretty personalized to the person but if you know like little things they like make hamper i've made i think i've made two no i think i've done quite a few hampers actually i'll pop two on screen if i can find pictures of them the photos that i got are for them buying a first home but you kind of get the gist put everything in that they like or you could do like a pamper themed one chuck some like cute mugs in there little bits and bobs you know that they'll like chocolate you know and that could be like altered to any budget if you are struggling with big things to buy go small you don't have to spend a lot to actually get a thoughtful gift just for someone um you know in the cost of living crisis we need to think uh, money savvy. Martin Lewis would be proud of us if we did that. I feel like I've included this in a gift guide as well, but Emma Bridgewater mugs, they are a little bit more expensive. Everyone loves a mug. Um, they do so many different ones. And Anthropology, oh my God, their Christmas mugs this year are so cute. They're like the cutest things ever. Um, so I have popped a couple on the screen. The Emma Bridgewater ones, you can actually get dog breeds as well. I feel like I've mentioned dogs like three times already. But yeah, you can find loads on there. Even like little dinner sets, little quirky plates. If you know someone likes a hot drink, you can never have enough mugs. Preach. I feel like everyone needs at least one Alexa in their house. Um, we've got two and we could definitely do with another one. My grandparents have an Alexa, so it's literally for all age ranges. They're just so useful. I mainly use mine for just music. Um, I don't think I ever really do anything different, but the speaker's really good on mine. Um, and you can get all different ones of these depending on the budget. I feel like they are useful to absolutely anyone. Like a lot of people set their alarms on there and my grandma uses it to remind her to take a medication. What a great gift. Okay, I thought I was done with the personalized things, but clearly not. I feel like Etsy is the place to go if you are on a budget, but you want something quite thoughtful. I found these little prints. Um, so if you know someone who's moved out this year, bought the first home or whatever, you can actually get like a customized art piece um, as like a little sketch of their first home um, or you know don't have to be the first home could be the fifth I feel like that's a really nice little piece to get and I think you can choose the size of it so if you just want a little tiny one as like a stocking filler someone who likes sports um art of football now I've actually got Alex's Christmas present from here this year I got him a hoodie Nottingham Forest so I think the one that I'm putting on the screen is a Nottingham Forest one if you know someone who likes football obviously um the hoodie's got all different like old shirts on it they do t-shirts as well and i think they do quite a few different prints quote me if i'm wrong but i'm pretty sure they do and another one for sports fans boots and ball i'm pretty sure these do any sport so you can get bear mats prints t-shirts with like the sports things on it um you see what i'm on about when i put on the screen you can also get pint glasses another great idea i feel like um because men are so bloody hard to buy for. Someone who likes an alcoholic bevy, um, a cocktail sets. You can get some really, really nice ones. If you've got the money to splash, you could get really nice gold, like full set with the shaker and everything. Or if you're on a bit of a budget, there's definitely lower range ones as well. Also AU, we have become quite the AU fans. It literally, I just feel like it doesn't taste like vodka at all. Also, if you get AU and spoons, it's mega cheap off topic they do gift sets where you can get like the full size bottle i don't know if it comes with a glass or it comes with like too many bottles um and i just feel like that is such a good gift idea they do some like quite hefty gift sets as well if you want to splash the cash on someone you know really loves it they do so many different flavors now so yeah that is definitely a good present idea love myself in a you if you think someone is lacking in the nice glasses department glasses not glasses oliver bonus they do some super cute like martini glasses wine glasses champagne flutes honestly if you look on their website they're so like snazzy you've got like the curvy stems and stuff like that in all different colors and some really cute little designs on there oliver bonus stuff in general 
is so nice. I also found this. Now, I feel like it doesn't come with a wine bottle, which is a bit annoying. It's a wine escape room, and obviously escape rooms have become quite popular this year. So if you know someone who likes an escape room or like the murder mystery, whatever, um, I think it comes with a card and then the cage to put the wine in. And then that's something to do around Christmas. Thought I'd include a little fun game. If you're spending the Christmas at their house or whatever, um, Cards of Humanity, great game. And what do you mean? For like in a big group of people, it would be quite good fun with a few bevs. Um, I need to shut up. I'm on a ramble today. But yeah, card games can't go wrong unless it's, you know, your grandparent probably wouldn't understand it. A few book ideas. So we've got the David Attenborough Planet Earth. I'm actually going to buy this for my granddad this year. We've been watching this on TV and it's so good and i can't look at the sad parts but anyway um yeah the book is about 15 pound i think on sale at the works at the minute order of lunch recipe book uh they do the air fryer and slow cooker i have the air fryer one but i'm always using his recipes on instagram because they are so good absolutely love his recipes they're like foolproof every single one that i've done is so good definitely recommend them if you know, if your person's getting into cooking or, you know, they've just moved out. Or a baker, Jane's Patisserie. I think she's just come out of another book. So yeah, her recipes as well are amazing. They're like the only baking recipe I'll use because you know it's going to be good. Moving on randomly, um, a gym freak, get them a new gym bag. Uh, Gymshark do loads and loads of different ones at different prices. If you know someone who commutes to the gym and to work, get them a good quality gym bag. I'm sure it'd be appreciated. Next thing I actually have with me, doesn't usually happen. But so my grandma is the hardest person to buy for. And every year I'll either get some Marks and Spencer's pajamas or a jumper. And I feel like I've got her every single colour of the jumpers now. So this is the one that I got. So I feel like for a grandparent, this is a great idea, by the way. I don't know if I said that. How nice is this colour? It's in like a really nice, deep pink colour. It looks a lot brighter on camera. It's not. Yeah, these are really good quality. So these are £35 or you can get ones that are a little bit cheaper at £17.50. See how I know that off by heart. You can just tell that I buy them every year. Pretty basic. You can get loads of different colours in them. So yeah, nice little treat. Thought I'd throw that in there. So not on the high street and probably Etsy do these really nice little bracelets where you can add on the family birthstones so you know if it's like a family of four you get four little gems on there choose the birthstone and obviously it's a lot more personalized not much more to say about that i just thought it was a good idea if you've got a woman who is really hard to buy for i think this is over 50 pound i think they're about 70 pound might differ i'm not sure a flower subscription if you know they've got absolutely everything they could ever need and they like flowers then just get them a flower subscription instead um, I'm pretty sure most of them within like but under £100 budget are for three months. I'm not entirely sure how it works, but I just thought, you know, good idea. A wireless car charger. Very random, but I've got one where you just place your phone on it and it charges. Super handy you know, for someone who likes a bit of tech. Well, anyone really who drives a car and needs to charge their phone. Going a bit basic, bought a Lush gift set. They do bath ones, shower ones. That's probably it. But apparently their perfume sprays are really good as well. Obviously, they range from really low to really high. So you could even buy them in like little singular bits. And if you was doing a hamper, chuck that in with it. Or just have like it as a stocking filler. And also Body Shop. They've come out with a new cherry scent this year. And I really want to try it. It sounds so nice. A nice little gift to give because they are a little bit more expensive. And I never buy myself body stuff that is like that price. So yeah. Nice to buy for someone else. Oh, I've got the next thing with me, actually. Zara perfume sets. I feel like I have spoken about these quite a lot, but they are so affordable. It's ridiculous. And the perfumes are so good. So you could get one like this. So this is £12, £11.99. And you get two in here. I actually got this one last year. And they smell amazing, especially this garden gardenia one. It smells so good. And then the Red Temptation is actually a dupe of the Baccarat Rouge. Very, very spenny perfume that I'll never be able to afford. Actually in a gift box and it comes with a little mini one as well. So yeah. And Zara do loads of different ones as well, like little mini tester sets. If your man or any man in your life has a beard, um, a beard grooming kit, go down a treat. I can't remember the one I chose to put on the screen. But you can get these at all different prices and, you know... It's a little bit thoughtful because I've got a beard. Buy a gift. So you can choose 
like um so they're like experience boxes so i think i've bought my mum and dad a night away once um and i've bought alex a day out one I've got, um oh there's red letter days as well where we did the um experience day or something we chose the armadillo experience it's fantastic <laughs> you can get loads you can get two night stays spa breaks dependent on your budget afternoon teas so yeah i feel like for, again for someone who has everything a little experience day as well is a really good idea and i'm pretty sure if they don't like the experience that you've chose they can swap it for something else always like hundreds of different places to choose i thought this was quite cute a little pressed flower frame i'm pretty sure you can choose the flowers that go in the frame and it's in like a really nice clear glass thingy which would feel like it'd go in anywhere's anywhere's house anyone's house what do you think i'm about to mention now i've actually got a pair on right now Chelsea Purs pajamas. Now who doesn't like pajamas? Even men. I feel like they'd really appreciate a pair of these. They are the best quality pajamas I've ever worn. Like I've got satin ones from Primark. Don't even come close. These are very thick and I just know they're gonna last me forever. They do some crazy Christmas ones as well, which I know I am getting this year. Sometimes they sell them on ASOS with a bit of a discount as well. And they do really, really nice dressing gowns. Honestly, it's so luxury, 100% worth it. The quality is top tier. Bit of a random one, but wax melts. I love me a wax melt. Places like Etsy and everywhere, they do so many different gift sets. You can even get the gift sets where it comes with like the wax burner as well. And you can get some where there's something like painted on the wax burner so it's a bit more personalised. Again from Etsy, <laughs> um, it's just the best place to buy, you know, better presents. These little necklaces, they are personalised and they're like in a bubble font, which I've never seen before, thought they were really different. The prices can differ massively, I think. So I don't know how much it cost overall, but I thought they were nice. There is a bit out of the budget. A velvetizer, or if they do have a velvetizer, they now do latte sachets. Now I want a velvetizer because you can do a latte in it. I bet the lattes are amazing. Um, you can get a little selection box of the lattes. Yeah, if you know someone who loves a hot chop, there you go. Someone who likes the gardening or someone who likes birds um a garden bird feeder there is so many different ones online i didn't even realize and i feel like this is a pretty good present like online there's ones where you've just never seen them in the shop before i feel like this is a really good present for a grandparent not on the high street have loads of different baking kits um the one i chose is a ultimate chocolate baking kit yeah chocolate chip cookie and brownie mixers and a wooden spoon in there so that one is a bit more on budget 12 pound 50 what a bargain but you can get loads like a bit higher end Next up, um, my boyfriend actually has one of these in his room and it's a gaming light. So it's got the little LED strips on it and you can choose like the colour of each section on it. I think that's really good for the gamer. You can get little ones as well that actually stand on the desk. A luxury hamper. There are so many different websites where you can get some really, really good hampers. Some are spenny, um, but places like Marks and Spencer's, so yeah, depending on what they like, you can get like an alcohol luxury hamper. Um, we usually get hamper every year for my grandparents and they are filled to the brim with, oh my God, it's like endless chocolates and loads of wine and they're great. Fantastic. Next idea is loungewear. Um, can't go wrong with a bit of loungewear or a new dressing gown. There's some really nice ones on places like Next. Um, or Udi. This is really random, but I know there'll be some people out there, you know, like your mom or mother-in-law, grandparents, um, a fancy little cake fork set. The one I chose, how bloody cute is this? I know some people like their um, cutlery for like absolutely everything. I personally, if someone gives me something like that, I don't have a clue what I'm doing with it. Yeah, the one I chose is really nice, but I feel like you could get one more suited to whatever they prefer, obviously. The mini photo book, I think I've put this in a previous video. I've made a photo book for Alex before um, by buying the thing with the slots in and doing it myself, but you can actually get ones that look like actual like coffee table books, or you can get ones, I think it's photo box, where you can get really, really small ones, and they're like little flip book. Again, something really thoughtful, and you've took the time to go and add all the little photos in it, something really nice for you both to look back on. So, you know, it could be one specific to a holiday that you've been on. Next up is a 
paint by numbers and I didn't realise how many different paint by numbers you can get and there's also diamond art as well there's loads online and i actually found one where you can put your own picture on it but yeah the other picture is of a dog but obviously you could put like a family photo precious i'm so hungry and the last idea is getting something for their home this website is snazzy um so they do all little like home decor pieces and i think they do prints as well but they do like the most well, weird things but if you know someone who likes things like that I feel like it's quite an easy presence or you can get them nice prints there's so many websites for prints really hope that gave you at least one idea I really hope this helped at least one of you find a present and I've got it up nice and early so you've got the whole month to shop for it please make sure you do check out the Ana Luisa website see if you can grab a discount I will link my link below so you can shop um all of the different bits but yeah my collection of Ana Luisa jewellery is growing definitely recommend it if you've got any festive content ideas please do let me know because I feel like I don't really know what to do so yeah really hope you enjoy and happy December thank you for watching goodbye